A Hollywood insider has revealed that Justin Bieber believes his recent misfortunes are a physical manifestation of the dark forces that took control of his body and soul after joining the Illuminati at the start of his career. Hold on to your seats because this is about to get wild. In June, Bieber revealed he was suffering from facial paralysis after a diagnosis of Ramsey Hunt syndrome. The 28-year-old who had been on his Justice World tour announced that recent shows have taken a real toll and he needs to get more time to rest and get better. Hey everyone, um, Justin here. Uh, I wanted to update you guys on what's been going on. Um, Obviously, as you can probably see from my face, um, I have uh, this syndrome called uh, um, Ramsey Hunt syndrome. And it is from this virus that um, attacks the nerve in my ear, and my facial nerves, and has caused my face to have paralysis. As you can see, this eye is not blinking. I can't smile on this side of my face. This nostril will not move. So there's full paralysis in this side of my face. So for those who are frustrated by my cancellations of the next shows, um, I'm just physically, obviously not <laughs> capable of doing them. Uh, this is pretty serious, as you can see. Um, I wish this wasn't the case, but obviously my body's telling me I gotta slow down. And um, I hope you guys understand and uh, I'll be using this time to just rest and relax and get back to 100% so that I can um, do what uh, I was born to do. But in the meantime... Earlier this year on March the 10th, Bieber's supermodel wife, Hayley Bieber, was similarly struck down by another unusual ailment. The 25-year-old was sitting at a table with her husband when she suffered a mini stroke disabling her and requiring urgent hospitalization. Bieber believes that their ailments are the physical manifestation of their efforts to break out of the Illuminati entertainment industry and break his contracts with the Black Prince. He has been trying to break free of the industry since 2017, when he told hundreds of people at a Bible study class in Los Angeles that he had woken up to the evils of the music industry and needed to get out because it's controlled by the absolute worst kind of people pedophiles. Bieber was a regular at the Bible study class held at the Montage Hotel in Beverly Hills and in July 2017 he shared with the congregation what he described as a horrific story and explained why he felt he had to quit his world tour. Describing a party attended by the upper echelon of the music business including executive VPs of development, producers, power agents and international financiers, Bieber said he was encouraged to sexually abuse a young child who had been brought to the party for the sexual gratification of the industry elites. I didn't want to do this, I really didn't. They said this kid was drugged, it was horrible, Bieber said, explaining that it was made clear to him that he would gain entry to the business side of the industry if he joined the club by passing the initiation rites. I wouldn't just be a performer, I'd be a mogul. That path would open up for me like it did for Jay-Z. It's the difference between being a millionaire and being a billionaire. But Bieber told the congregation that he couldn't do it. To join the club, I'd have to do bad things to this poor kid. But then I realized that even that wasn't enough for them. I'd also have to kill this little child. Bieber said he'd heard rumors about this type of initiation in the music industry, but he had not been confronted with it before. I got told they secretly filmed these parties. Once they got you on video doing something like that, they own you. Bieber said his conscience is clear because he didn't participate, but the fate of the drug child is haunting him. They said this kid was raped by a few different guys. They said he was bleeding. I got out of there, but I heard he died and that haunts me. Bieber's disturbing tale, which was completely censored by the mainstream media to protect the industry elites, adds to the wave of accusations made by celebrities and musicians 
about the real nature of the music and entertainment industry Illuminati. Corey Feldman and Elijah Wood have both gone on record exposing the paedophilia at the heart of Hollywood. Disney child stars including Bella Thorne are blowing the whistle on the real nature of the industry. In the city where dreams are made, fame can come at a price. If you'd asked me when I was five years old what I wanted to be when I grew up, it was I wanted to be famous. The clowns, the clowns, Randy, they're here. Sure enough, by 11, Nathan was an actor in a low-budget horror. Its director, Victor Salva, was a friend of Nathan's mum. His grooming process was developing my love and trust and developing my parents' trust. The first time that I remember there being any kind of touching or abuse, I was staying the night at his house, his apartment, and we were watching movies, and one of the movies he put on to watch was Jungle Book. We got two bandanas and tied them together and made this loincloth, and as he's tying them, he's like fondling me. And, um, and that's like my first memory of when the abuse started and you know, eventually it progressed over the next five years. Videotape all of it, I mean, it was, it was full blown. Getting out alive means he was one of the lucky ones. According to Elijah Wood, innocent young lives are destroyed to satisfy people with parasitic interests who see you as their prey. In an interview with the Sunday Times, Wood dropped a series of bombshells about the paedophiles that run the industry noting that clearly something major was going on in Hollywood. It was all organized. If you read the Washington Post or watch CNN, paedophilia is not a problem. And those who talk about it are tinfoil hat wearing kooks, perpetuating fake news. But more and more stars are coming forward with similar stories about the depraved Hollywood and music industry system, including former Disney star, China McLean, who recently exposed the depths of Satanism in Hollywood. Because in this dark world we're in, I've noticed a pattern in what is being represented. People think that this stuff is just a game. There is a reason why you see people dressed up as Satan, not just, you know, like Satan slipping himself in a little bit. No, full on visuals of Satan, people dressed as Satan, you know, dressed as a demon, got upside down crosses all on their clothes or pentagrams on their clothes. And people are just like, oh, that's funny. It's, you know, we're making fun. No, there's a, there's a reason why the entertainment industry is doing that, y'all. They know good and doggone well that God exists. They also know that Satan exists. They're just counting on the fact that y'all don't know that. But either way, the things that you take in, that they're feeding you, those things affect you, whether you realize it in the moment or not. They affect you, that's why they do it. Entertainment industry, it's about influence. I'm not gonna sacrifice the honesty in order to be politically correct. Hollywood maverick Mel Gibson is another one who has spoken out about entertainment industry paedophilia, stating that Hollywood studios are drenched in the blood of innocent children, and the consumption of baby blood is so popular in Hollywood that it basically operates as a currency of its own. Hollywood elites are an enemy of mankind, continually acting contrary to our best interests and breaking every God-given taboo known to man, including the sanctity of children, Mel Gibson said in London while promoting his role in Daddy's Home 2. It's an open secret in Hollywood. These people have their own religious and spiritual teachings and their own social and moral frameworks. They have their sacred texts. They are sick, believe me, and they couldn't be more at odds with what America stands for. Mel Gibson appeared on The Graham Norton Show on the BBC in 2017 while promoting his role in Daddy's Home 2, his most prominent on-screen role in years, and he scored his fellow guests backstage about the real nature of the entertainment industry control matrix. Explaining that he spent the last 10 years working on my own ideas outside of the Hollywood system, after being blacklisted in 2006 for sharing opinions about the industry and the world that run counter to liberal orthodoxy, Gibson said, I don't know how to break it to you gently. Hollywood is institutionalized paedophilia. Hollywood is drenched in the blood of innocent children. For a long time, all the references to paedophilia and cannibalism were symbolic or elusive, but I was personally introduced to the practice in the early 2000s. I can talk about this now because these people, the execs, they're dead now. The blood of a sexually abused infant is considered highly enriched and is highly prized. The money changing hands, the favors, the kickbacks, you have no idea. Babies are a high functioning currency all of their own. Babies are their premium brand of high grade caviar cocaine diamond steak. But according to Gibson, this isn't a flavor of the month perversion. 
popular among men and women who have grown bored of standard issue sins. This isn't anything new. If you do some research, you'll see it's a metaphysical alchemical phenomenon, and you can find it behind the scenes in all the dark eras in history. It's a dark, multi-dimensional occult art and practice used by secret societies in the last few hundred years for social programming and mind control, and raised to a zenith by Hollywood in America in our era. The mainstream media quickly pounced on Gibson's revelations, declaring them fake and memory holding them. A celebrity cannot speak out against the system without being silenced and punished. Gibson's career has not been the same since. In recent times, Nicole Kidman and Lindsay Lohan also spoke out about paedophilia in Hollywood before backtracking, attempting to cover their tracks and pretending they never said what they did. Lohan and Kidman understand the severity of the consequences for those who betray the industry. I am here to reveal my hidden talent, eating micro livestock, corn worms. They're still alive. Mm. Like a hairy nut <laughs> for dessert. Mm. The fried grasshopper. These are amazing. Grasshoppers. I recommend them. Close friends of Chris Cornell, Chester Bennington Coolio, and Anne Haish have all come forward with remarkably similar stories, revealing that the stars were working on exposing the paedophile ring at the heart of the music industries, and it cost them their lives. Justin Bieber shocked his fans by cancelling his world tour and announcing that he needed some time away from the music industry. Now he claims that his misfortunes, health ailments, and his recent fall from grace in the music industry are punishment for betraying the music industry Illuminati and attempting to break free of the vast control system. Bieber is now seeking a priest to perform an exorcism to get rid of the dark spirituality that he says he invited into his body at the start of his career. We can only wish him the best of luck in his endeavors.